What is up? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Got a Forspoken demo for you here, and I saw this demo just drop with the announced run when the Game Awards came out, so I figured, hey, I might as well download it, give it a try. I have been eyeing this game. Um, I was interested. It, the combat looked cool from just watching it. I still have some um, reservations about the story and the characters, but... I guess the most important thing of any game is, is it fun to play? And I will say this up front, the combat definitely is going to be the highlight of this game. It's a lot of fun. And as I said, this is my first time trying it out, playing it. So I'm just trying to experiment, try stuff. I did like this spear attack. It's definitely my favorite, but you got to be careful because of how it can ignite and hurt you and knock you back. But it's definitely the one I had the most fun and was the most effective with. But basically, Forspoken is a game where you play as a character taken from, I guess, the real world into this world. And you get these magical powers, and you do some cool parkour, magical travel, traversing across the lands. And I guess I'm just getting the basic stuff right now. And you got some abilities that you can interchange with in battle and whatnot. And it's a little sometimes weird just trying to figure out which abilities work and which ones don't, depending on who you're fighting. But you can mix and match. And as I said, I'm just first playing it. It's my first time, so I was I look terrible playing it most of the time. But it's a lot of fun, but as I said, the Fire Lance ability is something I definitely had the most fun with. And you got some other abilities. You can have some um, binds hold people down. You can leech health on them. You can shoot the rocks or whatnot. Um, I forget whose abilities it was, but it wasn't Freya, the main character's name, Magic. I liked the most. It was the other person's abilities, which is this fire attack and whatnot. But um, from a combat perspective, I really had a blast. I love this attack right here. It had a um, blast doing this and a little um, gets mini balls here. I, and, and as I said, as I'm playing this game, I'm traveling across. I, I, I have a, like a striking resemblance to Horizon um, in terms of just how the world looks and how you traverse it. Not obviously using magic, but just it just gave me that feel. And I do like the Horizon games a lot. Had a blast with them. And the only thing that I think I'm still trying to get used to, or like, like, is one thing I like about Horizon is the enemies. I love the enemy roll call, and obviously I haven't, I'm just seeing a lot of these enemies for the first time, and they definitely have a cool aesthetic, but I guess I'll have to learn more about them and whatnot in this world and whatnot, because that's, that's a big thing, the story, and I think a lot of people have a lot of reservations with the story and the characters. Does it look bland? Is the open world going to get boring? And I've always been some person that, like, not to say that I'm immune to getting bored in an open world game. I mean, it's bound to happen because not everybody wants to go across and get every waypoint. As you can see, we got just like in this game and any other open world game, you get your waypoints, your traditional pickups, your um, things you go to that give you powers, your materials, and etc. If you've played any open world game, you you know the whole drill here. But at the same time, as long as you have a fun combat system. And a somewhat entertaining story. I can roll with that. Now, am I going to be paying full price for this game out of the, when it comes out? Probably not. Um, as I said, with game prices going up, unfortunately, with the these consoles, it's just hard to really justify a lot of games being paid for that price. And also, as I said before in earlier videos, with games seemingly dropping price, like as I said, like one month after Gotham Knights was released, I picked it up for you know forty bucks, almost fifty percent off. Um, one was looking at Sonic Frontiers, that's currently 40 bucks off in the store. And those are like barely one month out, if not even one month. And it just gets to that point where, you know, $70, you better be giving me like a damn perfectionist game. But even if it is a damn perfectionist game, some people just don't want to do that. Some people just don't want to put out 70 bucks or whatnot. And, you know, you got to be smart about that here. You know, your simple, you know, waypoints where you discover stuff, you can see where you can go and whatnot. And, you, and this cloud area is loaded with enemies, but as it's got familiarity if you've played it, but once again, the combat flow, especially with the parkour and running to get into it and the dodging, as I say, I'm trying to learn, I like the abilities, I like the thing. I did understand one of the complaints I've heard some people complain about with the main character Freya, where she, it's like, it seems like their only dialogue is just cussing, like cussing up a storm. And I'm not somebody that gets bothered by that. It doesn't really weigh me down too much. But I could understand why people get a little annoyed by that. I just don't understand why I can't just have normal, natural dialogue. I mean, you can have a moment or two, but when you're just 
I don't know, non-stop cussing kind of gets really redundant where everything's like, oh my god, what the fuck, what the shit, like, it's just, it gets a little old and tiresome, but then again, it seems to be a complaint a lot of open world games where it's just, the dialogue is just all over the place, but once again, understanding who, who you're, I'm watching here, I'm not somebody that really gets like, for me to get annoyed at that, you really have to be trying to do it, and I just don't, that stuff just doesn't bother me. You know, as long as the game is fun, entertaining, but once again, the question, is it worth the asking price when it first comes out? Probably not, but let's be honest, a lot of games, probably 95% of games that are released aren't worth full price or whatnot, but, of course, and I'm talking about with the price raised at 70 bucks, so probably better to wait for a sale. I know you got um, Dead Space Remake coming out around that time. And I was asking myself a question, like, you know, I do like the original Dead Space. Is that worth full price? Especially if you're not somebody who wants to play that type of game multiple times with all the collectibles. Obviously, this game, one thing it has going for it is that it probably has a decent amount of play time. Like, you'll be playing for a lot of hours. It's not like a game you're going to rush through. I mean, I guess you can rush through if you want to, but you're really going to get the full effect of that. It's just not worth it. But you got a huge world. Now, hopefully the world isn't boring. You, you never want to get bored in it open world game, and I think that there's a fine line between that, because I feel like a lot of open world games, it's like, oh, I want the biggest map, but what difference does it make if you have the biggest map, if it's just plain wilderness, or plain wilderness, and just nothing to do, and, and there's a few things to do, I didn't explore and do every single thing, I just want to get the gist of it, um, they got your points of interest, you got your little shrines, you got these areas where you got to fight monsters to get rid of this, like, storm effect or whatnot. You got your objectives and whatnot. You got multiple magical abilities you can level up. You do certain things. You got, like, different types of equipment that you can equip to help you out. And that's what I was talking about earlier, the different magics. Um, I like the other person's magic solos, I think, than um, Freya's just because it had that fire lance that had the most effect of it. But, once again, as I said, in terms of the story and the character's we won't know until it comes out. And that doesn't have to be the greatest story in the world. Just something entertaining that I'm not going to get, you know, bored with. But I could definitely see when this, if this game does drop that I would probably pick it up. And who knows? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe something else will get me. I'll say this game may be more interested in playing it just because I like the combat. Combat's fun. And as I said, I'm playing it for the first time, so I'm still trying to get used to everything. I had a little problem locking on to people. Sometimes it would flip off, but... When it works, it feels great. I like this little homing thing where you, like, it's as you interchange between, like, the trigger buttons or, like, the R2 does one thing, the L2 can do another thing, and it kind of combine a whole harmony of fusion. And as I said, I just fell in love with this thing. I didn't try every single thing as much as I probably should have, but, you know, that's what you can do when the main game, because I am a little bit leveled up here. This is how the demo starts out, but, and especially effective against these flying guys, but. I, you know, as I said, my personal opinion, would I uh, find this demo? Am I interested in it? Yes, absolutely, I'm interested in it. It's something that I would definitely play close to eye, but as I said, would I pay full price? Probably not, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We'll wait and see. Hopefully, it's a solid game, and I think that's the most important thing. Just have a solid game. I, you know, One thing I get annoyed by so many people is when a game can't just be a solid, decent game. Why does every game got to be like the second coming of Citizen Kane? This this really is a normal, solid game that you can have fun and move on with. And, you know, I got a little item here for completing that mission. But it did have an extra mission for me. So you got cloaks and nails. That's another thing, nails. You can equip different nails, colors, that give you different things or whatnot. But after I completed this, I thought the demo would have but it gave me an extra mission where I fought like a boss. And... Granted, the Fire Lance was probably the most effective on him because he was invulnerable. And if you fight enemies and use certain type of magic, it will tell you if you're vulnerable or invulnerable. So you might have to switch it up. He was vulnerable with that. He did have a lot of health. And granted, it seemed like it took forever to kill him. But it was a fun fight. What not? like this big alligator, crocodile type creature that I'm about to go at right now. But, um, but yeah, from a combat perspective, short and simple. Um, it's a lot of fun. I could definitely see myself enjoying the combat. I wonder what kind of other bosses you're going to have. They're going to what kind of other magical spells you can have with, and what you can do. And also, if you do enough damage to something, you can. Um, unfortunately, not tear. I didn't notice in time, but you can do like a big critical attack, which you can get some more damage with. And you see that purple thing. You also have stuff like that where you can dodge. You dodge the right time, and 
I kind of dodged him and I kind of got swatted, so I'm still trying to get used to it. But granted, it's my first time playing it, so I got to fail a few times before I can learn how to do it. Yeah, I learned to take a few hours before you learn to dish them out, but, um, but yeah, but my biggest things is, you know, so questions, obviously the story, characters, and can the world interest me? Because I've always had this one thing, and this kind of makes and breaks games like this, or not just type games like this, but any type of game, I guess, if you think about it, is if I don't give a shit about what I'm doing in the world, I'm probably not going to want to be in there too long. And I can't answer that at this point. I didn't really show it to you. It's just me going around and facing combat and enemies, but I can't tell you if I'm going to care enough for this world, but hopefully I will. Hopefully I'll have an enjoyable adventure or whatnot, and hopefully it'll be something that's positive, not negative, but that's going to be at a later date for us to decide. Let me know what you guys think. Were you even interested in this game, or is this you have no idea what this is, or maybe you're just like, I know what it is, I'm not really caring for it, or I'm keeping an eye, or maybe you're really excited for it. Let me know in the comment section down below, and hopefully the game can deliver and not be another um, game that looks like, man, what, what were they thinking? But we'll have to find out next year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and I hope to hear and see from you guys later. Peace.